Hey guys, this is Darko. In this video, I'll share with you recommended picture settings for LG's 2021 OLED TVs. In front of us is 55 inch C1, but these recommendations apply to other screen sizes and other models in LG's lineup this year. Before we go and adjust picture, first we need to make sure that TV is in home mode in order to keep the settings constant. To do that, I'll press home button on the remote and here under app list, I will go to settings and in this menu, I'll select all settings. Next, I'll click general, devices, TV management and here we are. Here we have home slash store mode and make sure that it is selected on home mode. Now let's go into the menus that I show you which settings you should adjust to suit your needs and your environment. I'll press gear button on the remote to bring this side menu and click all settings. First option that I recommend you adjust is in support energy saving and its name is energy saving step you have different options including auto option which will engage ambient light sensor so the tv will adjust brightness of the picture automatically but as a baseline i would say disable it and then if needed over time you can play with this setting Next option in general, we have AI service and here we have different AI options. You can basically disable all of them, except if needed AI brightness settings, which will dynamically adjust gamma. So details in shadows, uh, depending again on your room lighting conditions. Next, we need to select the best performing picture presets, because by default TV will come in echo or standard picture presets, which are far from accurate. They have oversaturated colors, picture is too blue, and you will not see content as directors and content creators want you to see. So for SDR content, if you're watching movies and live TV, you use either cinema, or filmmaker mode or expert darkroom. You can also use expert bright room, but then make sure that color gamut is set to auto. For HDR, I recommend cinema or filmmaker presets and for Dolby Vision, use Dolby Vision Cinema. For gaming, for all modes, I recommend that you use game optimizer and you will need to tweak game optimizer a little bit to look more similar to those accurate picture presets like cinema or filmmaker mode. Next, let's go to picture where we have different picture modes. Currently Blu-ray player is sending SDR content. So I have the following picture modes available. Currently I have it on expert bright space. And related to overall brightness, you have brightness sub menu with different controls. First one is the most important. It's same as volume control on your AV receiver. Basically, if you want brighter picture, just increase it or decrease it, adjust it to suit your needs and your preferences. You also have gamma option, which is useful to further adjust how dark or bright the picture is. For nighttime movie watching experience, go with BT.1886 or for brighter environment 2.2 or even 1.9. I'm usually watching content with Gamma 2.2. You also have adjust contrast, which is white level and screen brightness, which is black level. And I'll put links in the description so you can check on your unit if those controls are adjusted correctly. Next, we have color submenu where you have color depth, overall saturation of all colors, tint, color gamut, very important that you keep it at auto detect. And then if you have calibration equipment, you have fine tune menu where you can put 
color upgrade to user and then adjust saturation, tint and luminance for primary and secondary colors. And then we have white balance where you adjust the balance between red, green and blue. So you have this one control, warm 50, that's usually the most accurate. And then if you have calibration equipment, you can use this 2 points, 10 points or 22 points controls to further tweak grayscale on different levels. Next menu is clarity, where you have adjust sharpness. Usually you can leave it at 10, only for lower resolutions. If you want TV to artificially sharpen image, then you can increase this value. Just don't increase it too much because then also compression artifacts will uh, become more pronounced, more visible on the screen. Super resolution off, noise reduction very effective if you are bothered with this uh, film grain and noise, you can effectively reduce it and eliminate it from the screen. MPEG noise reduction for compression artifacts, blocking and so on. Uh, you can also enable it if needed for the, that low bandwidth content sometimes available on IPTV services. Smooth gradation to, to avoid posterization, you can enable it. And then we have cinema screen, which is disabled when true motion is enabled. So if you want to watch movies without soap opera effect, then turn off true motion and turn on cinema screen. My preference is to benefit also from 120 Hertz refresh rate of this TV. So get, to get the best motion resolution is to use user selection, DJUDDER at zero and DBLUR at 10. OLED Motion Pro is to further increase motion resolution, but this option will dim the screen a little bit and on higher levels also introduce flickering. So I want brighter image without flickering, so this is how I would adjust it. If you want soap opera effect, you have this natural or smooth movement presets or you can simply increase the judder control here. Next we have applied to all inputs which will copy all those modifications to other inputs. Just make sure the first time you visit certain input to select the most accurate picture modes because by default all inputs will have echo or standard activated by default. In case you want to revert all settings to default, you can use reset. Other than that, you don't need it. Filmmaker mode auto start. So depending on metadata in content, TV will or TV could automatically switch to filmmaker mode. But if you're already using it, then no point in, in activating this control. And then reduce blue light. Basically here, it's a quick white balance tweak that reduces blue component in picture and you can adjust it easily here. For gamers, let me quickly show game optimizer. So if we select game optimizer picture mode and select game optimizer, we will see this new menu with information about frame rate, black stabilizer value, is it low latency engaged, are we in game optimizer mode, and VRR if available. Here you can change game genre to some presets or use standard and then adjust different options as you like. Once game optimizer is enabled, you will see this quick menu when you press gear button and then you can go to all settings or straight to game optimizer. So you can adjust this OLED motion pro reduce blue light prevent input delay input lag you have different options. AI game sound game dashboard you can enable it or disable it here. And then also for this tear-free gaming, 
VRR, G-Sync and AMD FreeSync and you can fine tune dark areas of the picture if needed and what I really like what TV manufacturers should implement more often is this menu color so here you can change menu color which is nice addition and yeah you have three different options finally user guide so if you want to learn more you can find detailed explanation here and this is it and that was it related to picture settings if you want more details about each setting for SDR, HDR and Dolby Vision then you can check my PDF files I'll put links in the description overall this is one excellent TV uh, it's really great for watching movies for playing games for for really enjoying content with with great contrast great colors and consistent picture it's not a major upgrade from last year's c10 or even c9 from 2019 but i'm sure many people will consider this model considering everything that's available and considering the price this is really a great and highly recommended model but more on that in my review which is coming very soon so once again thank you very much for watching let me know which tweaks have you implemented on your lg oled tv and i'll catch you guys in the next video very soon bye